Hello everybody and welcome back. So you've been deciding to build a PC for a really long time now, but you don't know how to? Well, let's get you started. So a lot of you have been asking me to do one of these videos where you actually show how to build a PC. Now I can't do exactly that because I don't have the parts yet. But this video will mark the start of a series on how to learn to build a PC. So the first thing that we're going to go over is how to pick the parts based on compatibility. Second is going to be how to pick the parts based on budget allocation or you know how to select them according to price. And then we're going to learn how to build a PC without having the parts. And then we're going to go over the software installation, which I, I myself don't know yet, but, but I'm in the process of learning it. So that should be really soon. And by the time I'm done with these videos, I should have enough money to get a PC for myself because I have been saving up. And that is when we can put together a PC right here on this channel. So if you're excited about this and you want to see all of this that's coming up, do not forget to subscribe. Now getting on with this video, we're going to talk about how the parts need to be compatible with each other. So here we are not going to talk about how good the parts are or how they perform or stuff like that. We're just going to see what fits in where and how they fit in together. And that should pretty much sum it up for us. So first we're going to start right off with the processor because this is the part that we generally first pick in a build. So when buying the processor, the main thing that you need to see is the socket type. I think that's pretty much the only thing that you need to know. For example, when talking about Intel processors, you get something like the LGA1150 or the LGA1151. If your socket type is matching the motherboard, you're almost good to go. Next, we have the motherboard. Now, just like I said with the processor, make sure you have the right socket type. Otherwise, you'll end up with a processor and a motherboard that will not match. And we do not want that. The other thing that you need to check with a motherboard is your motherboard type. Um, there's a couple of types of motherboard. There's an ITX, there's a micro ATX, there's an ATX and there's an, an, a bigger ATX that I forgot the name for. This will determine what kind of cabinet you need to use. Now most full tower or mid tower cabinets will support all of these. But then again, you don't want to get a really big cabinet for a really small motherboard. So make sure you check your motherboard type before you buy it. Next we have is RAM. So there's two things you need to know about a RAM is the DDR3 or DDR4 and the clock speed. So first off, know that a DDR3 RAM will not fit into a DDR4 motherboard and a DDR4 RAM will not fit into a DDR3 motherboard. The DIMM slots just do not work that way. And the second thing is clock speed. So as far as clock speed is concerned, just go to your motherboard specifications and see how much clock speed it supports. So if your motherboard only supports a clock speed of 1600MHz, what is the point of buying a RAM that is 2400MHz? Because your motherboard is just going to slow it down and that is just money down the drain. Now, this pretty much covers, I think, 80% of our build because when these three parts are compatible, almost everything else will just naturally fit into the build really well. So now I'm going to give you a small tip that I like to call a cheat code because we grew up with cheat codes. So a simple thing that you can do is just go onto Amazon and find the processor that you want to buy. And if you scroll down, 95% of the processors will have a combo given right there where the processor, motherboard and RAM will be just there. So most of the times these combos actually fit into your budget perfectly and that will be just what you want. But if you feel like you need something different, you can do that. But at least you'll have an idea of what is compatible. Now as for the graphic card, most modern graphic cards fit in the PCI Express 16 slot. So that's not something you really need to worry about. As for the hard drive, most modern hard drives just simply support a SATA port to connect to your motherboard and you should be pretty much good to go. Unless you decide to pop in the really old hard drive from some really old computer which doesn't have a lot of storage like 10-15 years ago, they just they have a whole weird different kind of connection that you just don't want to put into a modern PC. I mean they barely even give you any storage. Although speaking about putting in old hard drives, what you could do is if you have a laptop that's not in use anymore, you can actually open it up and take the hard drive out of that because that just has SATA and you can actually pop that into your PC for about like 500 gigs of extra storage then we have a power supply now as far as power supplies go i'd recommend that just get a conventional one don't get like a really cheap one otherwise you'll end up with like molex connectors and then you have to get adapters from molex to sata to connect to your hard drive 
and other connectors and and it's a pain so i just say they go with a good power supply something from corsair or circle and the last part is our cabinet now again this is really simple so there's nothing complicated here just like i said with the motherboard make sure you have the right cabinet for the right motherboard type you can use a small motherboard in a big cabinet but you cannot use a big motherboard in a small cabinet so just make sure you don't make that mistake the next thing you may want to check is the ports on the front of the cabinet for example if your motherboard supports usb 3.0 on the cabinet and if your cabinet doesn't have usb 3.0 but you wanted usb 3.0 then why did you buy that cabinet are you crazy also you should consider that if a cabinet comes with fans and led lights and stuff like that they also need to get power so make sure you account for that as well all right so that pretty much sums it up for me in this video do you think i missed out anything do you think there's something that you'd like to add go ahead and do that right in the comments if you enjoyed this video and if you'd like to see more don't forget to hit that like button and definitely do not forget to subscribe until next time goodbye